Today, our viewer question is, what do you think about resveratrol supplements for vegans? Very interesting question. It's a very interesting substance, resveratrol. Uh, it's a molecule uh, that plants make, especially the dark colored plants, blueberries, and berries of all types have resveratrol. Grapes have resveratrol. So, uh, that when people drink red wine, it's, ooh, the resveratrol will help my arteries. And there are studies showing that this is a powerful antioxidant. It quenches free radicals, uh, and it can be uh, beneficial to blood vessels and quelling inflammation, yada, 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 which you see in uh, many nutritional claims. Now, the reason why I'm being a bit dismissive, it turns out that, first of all, all of these studies basically are done in mice and rats. Uh, we really don't have good human studies on, one, what these what lots of resveratrol does in, uh, in human beings as far as just a physiologic effect, let alone the real question, does it make you live longer? Does it really cut down incidence of cancer and heart attacks and stroke? Nobody knows. Nobody's given people uh, 2,000 milligrams of resveratrol and a placebo and followed them for 30 years, kept their diet constant. You know, there, there, there would be the kind of study you'd have to do to really answer the question, does it really make any difference to be taking these? And, um, and I know uh, Dr. David Sinclair, the age researcher at Harvard, he, he takes his uh, resveratrol tablet every day. Um, but I'm a little less uh, enthusiastic about it. Why? Because, uh, and again, same old song here, but if you're one is really eating a diet based on whole plant foods, uh, you get up in the morning, you have oatmeal and you throw like I do, throw a, almost a cup of blueberries on there and with the, uh, some walnuts, etc. Uh, and lunch is a big colorful salad and, and dinner time is a very uh, vegetable packed, uh, vegetable stew, etc. If that's what you're eating, and you eat the salad and the vegetable soup, down in your intestine, you got a pound or two of, of healthy vegetables full of antioxidants, thousands of antioxidant, different types of molecules, way beyond resveratrol. And, and for hours after eating that salad and eating that vegetable soup, <clears throat> your digestive system is extracting the antioxidants and the phytonutrients out of this cells in your blood is flowing with, with all these thousands of antioxidant molecules. Now, if, if that's really the state of your body that you've induced from a healthy plant-based diet, does dropping a resveratrol tablet down there really make any difference in, in this vast uh, uh, mixture of, of antioxidant molecules that you've created naturally from the salads and soups, et cetera, is one man-made Respiratrol tablet uh, uh, really going to make any difference? That, in my opinion, that really shrinks down the uh, the, the benefit that might be derived uh, from taking these uh, this tablet. So um, I'm a little skeptical. I'm not saying it has no value, uh, but again, if you're eating a really healthy diet, now if you're not, if you're living on French fries and onion rings full of fried vegetable oil teeming with free radicals uh, and, and cooked animal muscle and uh, staying up all night, drinking alcohol, eating a bunch of sugar, doing these things that really place a lot of oxidative stress on your body. Might a resveratrol antioxidant tablet help? Might. But the answer isn't just taking more tablets, it's cleaning up your diet, it's eating healthy already. Uh, and, and it's uh, really unfair to ask uh, that, that tablet or your body to compensate for something you should be doing on your own there. So again, the gorillas out in the wild eating uh, leaves and fruit, they're not taking resveratrol tablets too uh, to prevent uh, premature aging and antioxidants. You know, they're living their lives or they, they live decades uh, in good health. So I'm not a big resveratrol uh, fan for folks eating whole food plant-based diets. And, uh, and again, I'm less than impressed with the, the studies they show because again, they're on, they're on not only on rodents, they're the only ones I've seen, but they are in doses that are so high. I think even Dr. Sinclair said you have to drink 100,000 glasses of wine to get the resveratrol that we give to the mice uh, in the study. And uh, if, if that's the game that's being played, 
you know, enjoy your salads and your soups and, uh, and don't eat those oxidizing fried sugary foods. Uh, and I think you'll stay on the good side of uh, the oxidative balance. So you won't need to be taking resveratrol tablets or any other antioxidant tablets that really haven't been shown uh, to help very much at all. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.